Paleontologist Lee Berger from South Africa has discovered one of the best preserved skeletons of an early hominid, about 1.9 million years old. He has teamed up with the ESRF in Grenoble in the French Alps to use the latest in X-ray technology to unearth more about this incredible find. The use of X-rays from a synchrotron by ESRF scientist Paul Taffaro has revolutionized paleontology and anthropology in the past decade. Berger of Vitbatisrand University in Johannesburg, South Africa, carefully transported the 1.9 million year old fossil, including the beautiful skull, to the ESRF for a two-week extensive investigation. This is only the second time ever that a skull of a hominid has been examined using powerful synchrotron radiation. The microtomography technology enables scientists to literally visualize the inside of a fossil block without breaking it open, which is impossible for this kind of treasure. Using extremely powerful X-ray beams, which makes the smallest detail visible many times better than conventional tomography, the team were able to analyze the fossil in incredible detail. What we have here is the highest resolution scan of an object this size that we can do anywhere in the world. And what it's going to do is allow us to look at internal morphology, the age of death, and, and structures we can't even imagine in a way that's quite literally unprecedented in paleontological sciences. The scientists were particularly interested in applying the technique on the teeth. They hope to be able to age the hominid at death accurately and even reconstruct the life history and diet from daily growth lines found in the enamel. Without having to carve out the stone matrix inside the skull, Lee Berger and the team were also able to look at parts of the body that don't normally fossilize, such as a potential brain remnant. The X-rays were able to delve deep into the rock to find any fossilized traces of what might have been there 1.9 million years ago. The analysis of the terabyte of data has only just begun, but the visualizations already available show some interesting finds. These include possibly fossilized insect eggs, whose larvae may have fed on the soft tissue of the hominid after its death, as well as an extended shadow that may be the remains of the brain. The new hominid is thought to be the closest known ancestor of Homo erectus. The studies at the ESRF should help to test that new interpretation of the hominin's evolutionary tree thanks to this groundbreaking technology.